What is Sire? Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So something that everyone who uses cryptocurrencies has faced is that almost existential dread you have, which whenever you send the transaction, you're not quite sure that it'll actually arrive at the wallet you expect it will. You know, you usually just on PC, you just copy an address, paste it in your wallet, double, triple, quadruple check, press send, and then you're left praying, right? That's a really error prone process. And maybe you hit a key on your keyboard along the way. Maybe you failed copying. Maybe you have a clipboard editing malware. Maybe even the person who gave you the address messed up copying it themselves. You know, there's many ways this whole process can go wrong. And it's all reliant on the person. And they take 100% of the risk with 100% of the funds. You know, in any other context in life, if you put that much risk on people and when there's money on the line, you'd say this is a horribly designed system, right? It just doesn't really make sense to put erring humans in the place of holding all this money, especially when people might be sending transactions worth thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. This is kind of a crazy system we have that's the default in cryptocurrencies. And so um, in the start of uh, 2019, I uh, submitted to become a D-Lab fellow and uh, Emergo SOSV, the two uh, sponsors of the D-Lab Startup Accelerator, they uh, came to me and asked me like, hey, can you try and solve this problem? And so since a little bit uh, before the start of the year, I really got into thinking, how can we solve this transaction surety problem of making sure that I am guaranteed that I know when I press confirm, it actually sends the money to your address as I expect. And so Sire came out of this. And so currently we have these push-based systems in which I've kind of identified the problems with. Sire instead is a blockchain agnostic tokenless invoice-based protocol which solves this. And the reason for making it blockchain agnostic and tokenless is that you shouldn't require even complex smart contracts or smart contracts at all, or this system that's locked into just one blockchain. When you could instead use good system design that no matter whether you're transacting on Cardano or maybe one day even a side chain of Cardano or even let's say Bitcoin or Ethereum and these older cryptocurrencies, you can have one solid standard that solves all these problems. And that's what really Sire is. It's an invoice based solution that gives you guarantees through cryptography that when you actually press confirm on an invoice, it actually goes to the person you expect it to go to. I wanted to break down the first thing that you said, because people often look at those convoluted addresses, whether you're in Bitcoin or you Cardano or Ethereum, whatever cryptocurrency you're using, it's usually a long string string of numbers and letters, and it's very easy to make a mistake. And this 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 problem just doesn't affect blockchain. It affects affects the legacy system as well. If you're a personal user and you're sending money via PayPal, you have to make sure that the email address you're sending it to is correct or some random person's going to get your money. If you're a business and you're wiring money, you have to make sure that that bank account is a verified bank account and I know as a business owner when I add a new account to my to my to my bank, it gives me a little green check to make sure that that bank actually exists and the 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 all the wiring information is correct and it matches that account. So I'm assuming that that's the same kind of logic that you're implying with Sire. You're going to be that kind of green check or verifier for blockchain, if I'm not correct. So in essence, um, what Sire does slightly differently than a green check is often those green checks require a centralized authority, right? And they're the one who provides the green check. Uh, for you so that yes you know it's going to the right place instead of having a centralized authority the idea of sire is to use cryptography which all blockchains already use so that for example when i request an invoice from you that the request itself has essentially this might be getting a little bit too detailed for now but uh, just really quickly essentially you uh, use a signature and to create a signature with cryptography, what that means is you have to have your private key. When you have your private key and you create a signature, that means you own the address. 
And so when I send an invoice to you or you send an invoice to me with a signature, what that means is that if I fulfilled the invoice, well, then I send it back to the exact same place where the signature came from. So it's literally impossible for me to send to the wrong address because you appended the signature with your invoice. And so it's not you know, looking to a centralized authority, but it's using mathematics itself to guarantee that it actually goes to the right place. Very interesting. Very interesting. So what are the, where can it go wrong? Is, are there any places where it can go wrong? I know that once you sign your keys, it's going to verify that it's going to go from party A to party B, but are there any steps in the process that you have not necessarily figured out how to 100% guarantee? Right. So, you know, well, you, whenever you're doing any system design, it's impossible to defend from actors who are all knowing, who can do everything. And so there's at some point always going to be some step of the way where there's probably a hacker, a fisher can actually scam someone. But the thing is with Sire, uh, there are, so for example, replay attacks on blockchain. So if you're posting an invoice or sending an invoice on blockchain, if you just put the data publicly, then what that means is everyone can see your invoice. One possible attack if you do that is, oh, I'm a bad actor. I saw Philippe sent a invoice to someone. I can copy all the data he put on the invoice, send it myself. And if the person who's receiving the invoice, if they didn't know which one of us is actually Philippe, well then, oops, you know, they can fulfill the wrong one and a bad actor steals the money. But I mean, obviously I'd hope I'd uh, think of a solution for that and you know, it's not just uh, that easily breakable. And so for Sire, for in that case, and what actually makes Sire uh, quite resistant to attacks is the fact that uh, for the invoices, all of them are encrypted with the receiver's public key. And so no one except the receiver of the invoice can see what's inside of the invoice. And this provides a lot of strong guarantees that bad actors can't do anything because they're blind. They can't see anything in the invoice. If it's on chain, then okay, maybe they can figure out, hey, there's an encrypted blob being sent with a transaction. Maybe that's a Sire invoice. Off chain, no one will know if you send it via email, if you send it via carrier pigeon, if you send it via you know, any, an API via web browser, usually it's, unless the hacker already controls, uh, let's say a merchant server, there's no way they can actually see the invoice. And so given that you have this dynamic where publicly when you're uh, posting Sire invoices on the blockchain, everything is encrypted and impossible to see. And off chain, there's almost no case where a man in the middle attack could happen because you're doing directly peer to peer through email or whatever else, and it's still encrypted also, uh, the attack vector is really, really, really tiny. And if people are interested, they can go to Sire.io and there's the white paper, and you can see more of the design decisions made and uh, the security uh, that's provided and the prevention of possible attacks.